Let's just take a look at what on the street right now before we get to interact with the white master. Here it is. Hangulet. Hangulet. Ungulet. Ungulet. Angulet. 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 All right, Willis, um, we've had the word on the street. Allow me to say hi once again. Good evening. How's your Easter so far? Yeah, my Easter is wonderful, but uh, you know, that team called Quaver, Quaver, they've just made it even more wonderful for me tonight. And I also realized uh, uh, you, Jesse, and Ashley also had it so nicely with Quaver. That is a pat on their back. Uh, definitely, I'm sure they have received um, those accolades. Let's move over to the word on the street. It's a hoofed animal. How exactly do we pronounce it, Willis? Well, many people came close to getting the pronunciation right, Jesse, but we say ang, angulate. Angulate, you can say let or late, but you say ang at the beginning so that we don't say ang, ang, no, ang angulate or angulate and as you've explained it correctly it's any animal which has hooves or hooves you know we have the plural as hoofs you can also say hooves but we can say in a sentence cows horses and pigs are angulate or angulates jesse oh thank you willis over to the collections of the week the very first word is the plural of nucleus Nuclei, I believe that's how it's pronounced, but feel free to correct me, Willis. <laughs> anyway, that one is a very tricky one. Just see you say nuclei, nuclei. Instead of nuclei, you say nuclei. It's a very tricky one, especially if we were to follow the letters or the letter sequence very closely. We would say nuclei, but it's nuclei. And we have also to remember the plural of radius is radii, not radi. Jesse. Okay, thank you for clarifying that. The next word means uh, made up of people of many races. I have a specific question. Is it multiracial or multiracial? How do you pronounce it? Now, Jesse, there is something which is a bit of a problem. And I realize that is why you've also asked me that question, whether it's multi or multi. Anyway, that U takes the made central sound, uh, ma, multi. You say multiracial, but remember we are having what is becoming fashionable and language being what it is. It evolves and sometimes you have what we call sound shifts. You are hearing about multi, anti, but more of what I'll tell you very, very clearly is those are what we call regional pronunciations, just like in American English, Australian English. But if you come to RP, that is received pronunciation, the standard form of British pronunciation, you say multi, anti-corruption, and here we have multiracial, Jesse. So it's multi, not multi, yes? Yes. Multi, multiracial. Okay, thank you for that. Multi purpose. Multi purpose. Okay, over to the next word. A long, exciting journey. Um, o D Y double S E Y. I'll let you pronounce this, Willis. It's a little bit of a mouthful for me oh. on my side. Yes, and it's rarely used in ordinary communication. You say Odyssey or Odyssey. Odyssey or Odyssey. And remember, this is a long journey that is full of experiences, and it is a word that is derived from the Greek poem about the adventures of Odysseus or Odysseus. Thank you, Willis. Now, 
The next word is a little bit lighter. An animal feeding on insects or a plant that is able to capture and digest insects. Insectivorous, is it? Yes, that is exactly the way that word is pronounced, Jesse. Insectivorous. Insectivorous. Okay. Insectivo, insectivorous. Just like we can say hedgehogs are insectivorous. Okay, thank you, Willis. The next word is a noun, disease caused by a type of bacterium, or bacterium, you'll correct me. Um, is it listeria or listeria? Listeria, the way you said it, uh, firstly. Now, Jesse, what is tricky to many people, many people, in fact, in Africa and even beyond, is that part teria. You realize there are many people who say bacteria instead of bacteria. You don't say bacteria, and you also say bacterium exactly the way you pronounce that word. That is the, the singular form or the singular form of that word, bacterium, bacteria. Then we say listeria, not listeria. Okay, thank you, Willis, for and that. Remember, I would also add to our viewers, Jesse, if you allow me, we would also remind our viewers that we say criteria, not criteria, not criteria, criteria. Criteria. Lister listeria okay i think i'm getting the hang of bacteria, it bacteria yes okay yes. okay now the next word <laughs> yes, um, is the opposite of nocturnal you know non-nocturnal um or for during the day you know yes. so is it dianol yes. dianol how do you pronounce it you say dianol that is d-i-u-r-n-a-l you say dianol, just like squirrels are dianol animals. Okay, Willis. Um, next word, commonly used, I hear it popping up once and again, especially when I'm doing bulletins. Larvae, lava. How do you pronounce it? The singular form is lava. That is L A R V A, lava. Mm -hmm. But when we have the plural form, which is very tricky, you say lavi. V or vi, lavi or lavi. So that word has two acceptable, or if you like, alternative pronunciations. Just like finance and finance, issue and issue, Jesse. Okay, Willis. Now, a mobile, violently rotating wind that's a destructive vortex, tornado or tornado? Oh, you say tornado. That letter A takes what we call the diphthong, the vowel glide. A, tornado, not tornado, as many people say it. And remember, we also say volcano, not volcano. Volcano, tornado. Um, an attractive yes. quality, making something or someone more appealing. Is it glamour, Willis? That is the pronunciation, Jesse, glamour. All right, all right. Now let's take a look at some of the feedback yes. you have um, from your loyal viewers, especially those who watch the Friday briefing and also those who get to interact with you at Willis Ocheng One. Yes, uh, at Willis Ocheng One, that is on Twitter, also on Facebook, but at Willis Ocheng One is very fast. But they have to remember, Jesse, uh, that if they can't catch everything throughout the week, Friday is the best, in fact, night. For them to you know link up with us that is from ktn and always ready to give them all that they have asked for now the first person here is bethel baraka or vitete mumias you say encyclopedia encyclopedia now we have catherine madeba of mombasa you say christians christians you start with christian then christians but you say christianity christianity then we have cathedral, not cathedral, and you say sepulchre. So Catherine and our dear viewers have said Christian, but we have Christianity. Then cathedral, not cathedral, and sepulchre. Awaiting Daga, or Awaiting Daga, and George Ambogo of Rongo, you say dyadic. Dyadic, that is consisting of two parts or involving two people, you say dyadic. Don't say dyadic. Kolo of Naivasha. I remember you last Friday, you really, really, you know, cracked my ribs. You say bottle, bottle, not botoro. Botoro, no, bottle. And you say sharpshooter, 
sharp shooter not sharp shooter i don't know why you brought those but i think it's also good for learning so kolob naivasha bottle and sharp shooter brian okech amwai you say battery but you can also say battery then camel sk leshan of masai technical training institute library remember you can also say library you say pretty not pretty pretty and you also say fair for the two words that you also have that is f a i r and f a r e when words are spelled differently with different meanings but pronounced the same way we call them homophones then we have samuel wainaina of ngong hills you say dictionary or dictionary you can say dictionary you can also say dictionary then we have mark kipsang of elgeo maraquet oasis and hoax victor caberia modus operandi modus operandi that phrase in fact it's not pure english it's borrowed we have borrowed words or phrases which we call loan words or loan phrases sc kate this is now from kisumu sc kate wakesho you say reality reality george kondiek and ogutu omwanda george kondiek of kipasi market and ogutu omwanda you say bouquet and rendezvous or rendezvous but remember we also have omolo ogola you say acre an acre then hectares but you can also say hectares that one has two acceptable pronunciations that is hectares and hectares but remember the last one is airs very rare but you say airs a r e s airs second last mwalimu vidija dalizu of eldoret you say boutique boutique don't say boutique and finally helen mwangi of nairobi you say oh sorry helen mwangi of nyeri you say bizarre bizarre incident otherwise i would go straight now dear viewers to our surprise word for tonight we have the word ocean an ocean but when you come to this adjective you have to be very careful you don't say oceanic or oceanic avoid those pronunciations or mispronunciations you say oceanic oceanic that is living in or connected with an ocean you say oceanic like you can describe fish as oceanic fish or oceanic beauty don't say oceanic then last week we had this word which many people really wanted to know how to pronounce you say mammoth i know many people are used to mammoth mammoth crowd mammoth no this o takes the weak sound ah ah that is what we call a sure mammoth a mammoth crowd just like you say pivot pivotal roll but we are used to pivot no you say pivot pivotal roll and then you say mammoth crowd not mammoth then we have these two words this one is warship a warship that is a ship that is used in war warship here worship to show respect for god to worship not to worship and then we have warrior a warrior that is a fighter warrior but one who worries a lot is a warrior 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 those confusing words you can only get them right here on friday briefing the segment mind your language and your tv station is ktn finally we have what we call the phonetic symbols that is the sound symbols which are commonly used as the transcriptions of words the way they are pronounced they use special sound symbols which are found in the international phonetic alphabet that is ipa here we have what we call trifong oyo oyo and the symbols that you'll find in a good dictionary are these ones oyo for the sounding oyo when i talk about a trifong i'm referring to a glide that involves three vowel sounds o e o just like in loyal and royal otherwise dear viewers that is all that i had for you from kisubu for tonight i'm taking you back to the two hot and tough presenters of ktn that is jesse rogers and ashley mazuri back to you my colleagues
Oh my. Well, Willis, the white master, it's always a pleasure to have you with us. I tell you, it makes me feel really Some type good. of way. I tell you. <laughs> Willis, you're also hot and stuff. Thank you very much for the kind words. You know what, Jesse, I've really enjoyed today. Enjoyed Easter in general. I think it's one of my best so far. Well, it's just getting started. It's been an interesting week. The tiger came back from the woods, huh? If only my new can borrow a leaf from that. Wow. I'm just saying. Are you... No, 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 no. you have no, no, something no, no, against no, no, me? No, 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 no. I love them. I love my new oh, I'm also fan, yeah? So honestly, I feel it. But you know what? You know, we'll break Portugal this time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's where we come to a close here on Friday Briefing. Thank you very much for joining us. I am Ashley Mazuri. Our sign language interpreter is Damien Evans. And I'm Jesse Rogers. And on behalf of the whole crew, we wish you a very happy Easter. Enjoy yourselves.